We think that um, the corona crisis has sort of uh, uh, amplified the need for a more sustainable uh, financial um, uh, architecture in per se. But the bigger theme behind sustainability, the question of climate change, the transition to a low carbon emission economy, um, are front and center of uh, capital markets and investors' minds. And so I, we think that in, uh, the capital markets can play a very important role in furthering that change. In addition, as you rightly say, there is a vast of stimulus uh, obviously around uh, due to the COVID crisis and its aftermath. So we need the private markets, the international capital markets to step up help uh, funding this transition. So if you're advising clients, I mean, um, I think the main takeaway from that crisis is also that some industry will be actually winners and others will be extreme losers. So um, perhaps just to sum it up, what do you think, which industries are actually going to be in the, the big investment winners going forward? Well, you have uh, multiple effects, as you rightly point out. You have, on the one hand, the aftermath of the COVID crisis um, and all the, the, the resulting indebtedness and the deleveraging, which will have to happen across industries. So that's one. Uh, but the COVID crisis in itself has also triggered a lot of thinking about business models, about uh, sustainable business models going forward. And that plays into the theme of sustainability uh, and transition to a more uh, to more sustainable and also inclusive economic models. And on a, a company level, that clearly leads to thinking around, okay, which business to uh, progress and which business, frankly, to shed or to restructure. And in all of that, obviously, the markets play a huge role helping to transition. Coming to your question, clearly, when you think about sustainability, some of the uh, service areas hit most hardest will also face the question around the sustainability of their business models per se. Think about transport. Not only is transport hit by what we're currently seeing, transport is also faced with the challenge uh, that is all around the question of sustainable business model, a low carbon economy, et cetera. So I think these themes play a bit hand in hand and the fragility of some of those business models you've been seeing, the transition to a digital uh, economy, in particular in areas like retail, is amplified by the question around the sustainability, the emission effects of transportation and getting product to the customer. So I'd say that what we're seeing as a consequence of the pandemic is amplifying, is reinforcing the question around sustainable business models for a whole host of sectors. Let's talk a bit about banking industry. We've heard from Felix Hofer, the head of the German uh, financial watchdog WAF, in that the worst is yet to come for the banks. What's your assessment here? Well, I would uh, uh, certainly echo that uh, what we've seen so far is, is, is not the end of it. And we will see, we have been sort of uh, seeing a deterioration in profits. But they all came in, according to our analysts, ahead of their expectations, i.e. slightly better. And why is that? That's uh, basically because of cost control on the one hand, and clearly also a high activity trading environment, which has helped profits. Longer term, the key question clearly is around credit quality and solvency for those institutions, the question are, are around uh, dividend payments, and the question around liquidity. And what I mean by that is the, the one is pretty clear. The first one is pretty clear. It's about, okay, how will the, the deterioration in the economy play through the balance sheet and P&Ls? How much do we, how far does it go? How deep does it go? And clearly there is more to come. The second question though is around um, the, the, the dividends. Can they pay dividends? When will they be able to, be, to, to, to pay dividends? And why is that important? Uh, we say solvency uh, basically is there. The, cap the banks have enough capital to sustain what we're currently seeing, but will banks be able to underwrite the recovery phase? And the answer is that will be difficult for some of them and the capital to do that will come for the market. But that raises again the question of dividends. Can they pay dividends to attract investors? And lastly, my point on liquidity. Clearly, we have all learned from the crisis. Liquidity is high and, 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 and is obviously an important contributor to the resilience of those institutions. But what do, we, what do we do with all that liquidity? How can we employ it productively? So there are a lot of questions coming uh, and we have just seen the beginning of it.